I crawled into bed one night. <clears throat> my wife said to me, my word, you okay? You look like you're going to have a heart attack. It was a late night. I was feeling emotionally exhausted from running on fumes. Taking care of my small business is like running on a hamster wheel, man. Clients complaining no matter how much you try. Drama with employees just never ends. Bills from unpaid clients. Trying to collect leads. Callbacks. Worst part, bad reviews. Killing me. I started my business just over 12 years ago out of my garage. Looking back, <clears throat> man, thinking about it, it was life-changing. I felt like God came down, spoke to me, gave me the idea right out of heaven. My wife and I turned into the fastest growing fireplace, barbecue grill cleaning and repair service in the city. We won awards on Angie's List, preferred vendor, BBB, all this stuff. Killing it. Smooth sailing until 2020. The pandemic hit. Imagine for a moment, after 12 years, your blood, sweat, and tears, building, grinding, and all of a sudden, it just stops. Our industry, you go into people's homes. Here in Dallas, that's a $1,000 fine. I had to lay off nine of my staff. It's brutal. I remember one evening crawling into bed, my wife asked me, <clears throat> You okay? You look like you're going to have a heart attack because of the stress, pain I was under, my health, weight, even my personality was becoming worse and worse. I needed something different. I needed something to give. I told my wife, I'm going to figure it out. I can take care of my family. I'm going to turn this thing around. I'm a very simple, some would say a humble guy. I was looking for a sign from heaven. I wasn't looking to stumble across some get-rich-quick scheme. I'm sick of that. I was looking for something that I could just pay my bills, man. Just get the stress off. Be able to put my kids through school. You know, get some investments going again. Turn it around. I mean, it's America, right? I was after the American dream, which I believe everyone loves this country and should have. This wasn't going to happen in my current business situation. I still have bills to pay, still have rent, still have things going on. The pandemic made it nearly impossible for me to be able to make a dime with my business. At this rate, things were going, I'd be on welfare before I knew it. I'll be honest with you, I pictured a bright future for my children, a future I'd never had when I was growing up. My mother was divorced three times and I never learned to read until the fourth grade. Turn 50 next month. It would really mean the world to me to have a legacy, to be able to leave my children a life I never had. I leave behind the fruits of my labor. I've heard wealth is found in things not possessed. I've never seen a hearse pulling a U-Haul, you know? We can't take material possessions with us, but we sure dang can leave some back for our kids. The pandemic totally wiped out my business. I had zero income, nothing. I needed a way to get out of my current situation. I needed a way fast. I hit a wall. I had like this epiphany. I was chatting with my family on Facebook one night and an advertisement came across the feed. It read, start your own e-commerce business in 90 days without inventory and warehouse and staff. And I thought, my goodness, that's amazing. Now, I'm not the type of person to be clicking on Facebook ads. I don't need some phone calls from crazy people, especially, you know, today. But man, this one stuck out to me for some reason. I heard about e-commerce. I knew it was great. I mean, Jeff Bezos killing it, right? So I clicked on the ad, entered my details. I remember, I remember like yesterday, really, I, I watched a 30-minute video right there about how the business works. I watched in shock as I learned the ins and outs of the business in a very short time. I'm like, where has this been my whole life? It was taught by this guy named Fletcher Ladd. He's got kind of a cool accent, you know. But apparently he's one of the best e-commerce entrepreneurs of today. He's literally a genius with this stuff. I 
and making money on e-commerce. He taught the model of drop shifting, I guess, and then turning the drop shifting store into a branded e-commerce store where you have your own line of products. I thought that was cool. I hadn't heard anything like that before. At the end of the video, we offered a couple of people the option to fill out a survey and schedule a call with his team. I followed through with it, got on the call, it was about 45 minutes, explaining great information on e-commerce and how it all works. I did my research before the call and found these guys were legit. They're the real deal. Their online presence was impeccable. Their credibility within this market space was the best I'd seen. I started to see why they're number one when it comes to e-commerce. Their e-commerce strategist, Aiden, explained to me. He said, the goal of the program really, Jeff, is to make 10 grand within 90 days and then build your store into a household brand from there. I like that. I liked it a lot. Aiden extended an invitation to me, offering the chance to join the program, work alongside Fletcher and the team, and that's how it's been. Once they extended the invitation only to me to become their client, I had enough information to make an educated decision. So I went ahead and enrolled in the Ecom Capital's e-commerce acceleration program. Now, since my offline business with grills and fireplaces had taken a hit, due to the pandemic, I decided I was going to bring that business online. I took the idea of First Choice Residential and we took it online, but this time selling physical barbecues and fireplaces and really cool accessories. I had a vision again. I was able to become number one in Texas again. After 12 years of hard work, I was going to make a commitment to becoming number one in this online space. But without no limitations, being stuck in one city or town or even a pandemic. I stumbled upon one problem though. The internet it was a new challenge for me I hadn't encountered before. Running a business on the internet, I wasn't strong at it. It's complicated. E-commerce business, uh, it was new to me. I had no prior knowledge. I had to put my trust in e-com capital and it came through for me. I was nervous, still a little skeptical. I didn't know what I did. It was all moving way too fast and I needed this to work for the sake of my family. Once I signed up, this started moving fast. I had my own e-commerce store completed within 30 days. During those 30 days, I completed all their e-commerce accelerator training program. I launched my e-commerce store to a more than satisfactory launch considering I had no prior knowledge or experience in this space. The training is really unbelievable. I call it a Harvard education in e-commerce. I've since looked at other e-commerce training. They don't stack up to these guys. The coaching is unbelievable. They're the best coaches in the industry in my opinion. In terms of growing e-commerce company, nobody better. Becoming an e-commerce entrepreneur really was the best decision I ever made for my family. Shortly after enrolling in Ecom Capital's program, I was able to bring my stress level way down. I've been able to spend more time with my fam, taking my wife out on dates again, and being able to enjoy life. I'm on my way to paying for my kids' college, paying the cars off, making solid investments again, and securing my future. I can definitely say with certainty that things are gonna be going in the right direction from this moment forward. Looking back over 2020, I can say it was a wild ride, but the best part of 2020 was starting my new e-com business. It's an asset now, solid real estate. It's something I can build into a great company, complements my other business, and making sales is so much easier. If you're wondering if you should start an e-commerce business, even if you have no experience, I didn't either. You don't need to hesitate. You should look into Ecom Capital. There's a lot of gurus out there in the market teaching you how to make money online, this and that. These guys are legit. They're the real deal. They've helped me and they'll help you. Along this crazy journey, I'm finally beginning to get security in my Ecom business. If you're curious about e-commerce, or about Ecom Capital, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook at First Choice Residential or at Jeff Baldwin.
I will be more than happy to give you my honest opinion of Ecom Capital.